Hi, my name is Bala Mudakarpan. I'm a software engineer by profession with a strong passion for the arts. I'm originally from India, but raised primarily in the Middle East. I've been in Malden for the past 10 years now. I've been drawing and painting for as long as I can remember. Living in the different countries in the Middle East, like Bahrain, Dubai, Muscat, and Qatar, uh, have given me exposure to the diverse culture, and um, that reflects in my artwork as well. So this piece um, was the series that I wanted to present for the Windows Art Malden, called as the Warli Art, Warli series. So Warli is a traditional form of Indian art that was around um, for 400 years ago in the state of Maharashtra. Um, so this was basically something um, that the tribal people would use as a mural art on their homes. As you can see, it consists of very basic geometric patterns, which includes um, circles, triangles, um, squiggly lines, and dots. Uh, most of this was observation from the nature. The circle and triangle, um, basically the circle represents the sun and the moon, and triangle um, was something that they observed from the shape of the trees and the mountains, and you'll see most of those patterns being repeated in this uh, picture. So in, in uh, Warli art, uh, primarily uh, you, the subject is like Tree of Life, and I wanted to show that in this piece. And off, off late, I've been focused more on spirituality and meditation, and the first thing that came to my mind was the Buddha, and I wanted to put those two together, and hence um, this was an output of that. Okay. So this is the second piece that I did of the Warli art series, and it, I wanted to depict the uh, daily livelihoods of the Warli people, and here you will see um, the day and night concept. So this side showing the day life of the Warli people, which has the women doing the da uh, daily household chores and the men out at the farm doing their work. And on the other side, you will see everybody celebrating at night. So this is a traditional form of Indian art um, from Rajasthan, which is a Rajasthani painting. It's called Vani Dhani. The lady in this portrait um, was actually a singer and poet in the, ta in the palace of King Savant in the 18th century. Um, she was well known for her youth and beauty and became um, an inspiration for all the artists. We're not sure about her name, but Banitani actually means smart and well-dressed. So here is another piece um, of Indian art which um, showcases the her my heritage. I'm originally from Tamil Nadu, and this uh, painting is from Tanjavur, and it's called Tanjavur Painting, which is also from the state of Tamil Nadu in India. Um, this dates back to the 1680, where um, primarily the arts and culture was encouraged in the kingdoms. Um, most of the subject of these paintings are Hindu gods and goddesses. So here I've depicted Lord Venkatesha, these paintings are known for their vivid composition and bright colors and also a lot of embellishments. Um, you will see a lot of gold in them. With, I've used a lot of gold foil um, on the decorations and um, also used semi-precious gemstones, um, which adds to the richness of these paintings. So this piece here was one of my first prints that I've ever done. Um, while I was back in Doha, Qatar, I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Taha at the Art Center, and he taught me the art of making prints using linoleum. So this is the abstract piece that I first started off with, and then once I started carving, um, I came up with another series of prints. I like to try different um, mediums and different techniques of art, and um, printmaking is definitely one of the challenging ones, I find, um, because the carving entails a lot of work, and uh, you, know, you need to be patient, and you have to be creative and try to figure out which part you want to be part of your work and which you want to remove. Um, so here, um, th in this series, I, I like to focus on this area, which uh, to me, I could see like a face interpretation there. Um, and as this series, I call it, what you see is what you get. And I wanted to play with different colors, so I tried the blues and the yellows, basically try to keep it simple with the primary colors. So recently, I've been trying my hand at photography. Um, I've been told that I have a very good eye, so I figured why not try to you know, play with the camera and see what best shots I can get. 
And this piece was taken uh, when I was in India on my vacation with family. And um, it's actually a picture of the temple in South India. Um, I just loved how the pillars are carved and it just kind of looks amazing with the black and white effect. And so this picture was taken um, when we were going towards the Ipswich Beach. Uh, we drove past this river and I saw a bunch of people canoeing down the river. And I realized that this picture was really unique as in I could see the clouds on uh, the reflection. And so when people normally see this picture, they get confused because I have the reflection on the water. And they try to hang it the other way around, assuming that you know the clouds go upwards. But um, no, it's actually down below here. And you can see the people there canoeing on the river. So this picture was taken on our farm in Solomandan Madurai in Tamil Nadu, where my husband Venkat is originally from. Um, we own a coconut farm and uh, we have a bunch of people who actually collect the coconut shells and um, sell it. So when I was walking by one evening, I noticed that this ladder was against the, um, the coconut pile and uh, I just thought that was an interesting composition for this picture. So spring is one of my favorite seasons here in New England. And um, this picture was taken at Felsmere Park at the pond. Um, I just loved how the white flowers blossomed um, during that week. So this picture was taken by the Charles River um, on August 15th. And I remember their date correctly because we had gone there for um, an Indian Independence Day celebration. Um, it was a gorgeous day with uh, this, all the sailboats out there um, during the evening time. So this, this picture was taken at um, Bell Rock Park on Main Street, which is close to where I live. Um, after one stormy and snowy day, I wanted to get a picture of the snow in the evening with the light bouncing off. And um, the footprints here on the snow um, brought like the 3D, three-dimensional depth to the image. My other favorite season in New England is the fall. I just love the vibrant colors in fall, the yellows and the oranges, those are my favorite colors. So this was a take of um, the fall painting and this is acrylic on canvas. Um, I try to capture all the colors with the yellows and oranges and um, try to want to bring the blues into that as well. So this painting is an oil pastel that I've tried. Um, I just love how the different colors of oil pastel and how we can actually blend them together. Um, and I wanted to try it out with this colorful rainbow fish, as I call it. And um, I just like how bright and lively it is. So this one here, I call it Back to the Basics. Um, this is acrylic on canvas, and I wanted to focus primarily on colors and shapes. So I basically did plain color, primary colors here and try to coordinate it by arranging it slightly different angles to give it a good composition. Um, my favorite colors is the orange and uh, I just love the greens and the yellows. Um, so you'll, you'll see that primarily in most of my paintings. Okay. I've tried different mediums like watercolors, um, pencil, oil pastel, oil painting and acrylic. Um, I think my favorite so far has been acrylic and oil. Um, in oil, I really like the fact that it dries slowly and you can actually come back the next day and try to fix any issues that you've seen previously and kind of modify it um, to make it look better. But the acrylic, again, it dries really fast, so when I'm impatient and I want to get some painting done right away, then I go with acrylic. So I've never formally been trained in art, um, but I think I can say I've come from a family of artists. My uncles paint as well and my brother Chandran also paints. Um, so growing up, I've always found myself doing painting. Um, I don't get to paint as much nowadays um, with a full-time job and uh, being a parent um, at home, it's, it's, it's hard to find time. But um, I try to squeeze it now, now and then. But Malden is a great place for the arts and I, I get inspired and um, I'm motivated to try to do more arts every time there is a show. Um, if the wind does Arts Malden or any other project, I just you know, try to push myself and um, get something done at least, you know, uh, do it over the weekends and try to put my son to bed and then start painting and try to get something done um, that keeps me going. <laughs>